Hello, so today I am going to show you how to make a cute little jean jacket for an 18 inch doll like a Madame Alexander or an American Girl doll. Got a cute little fur collar and a little pocket and some buttons. In order to make this project, you will need a 18 inch doll. You will also need an old pair of jeans, some sort of fur to use as the fur um, collar. You will need some scissors, some buttons, and you will also need needle and thread for a sewing machine. To begin the project, you will first take your doll and you will take the pants. And I'm going to cut off the bottom cuff um, because it these pants are used, so all pants are a little long on me and the bottoms always get kind of gross. So I'm cutting the bottom of the pants off just so we have a nice clean looking edge. And then you're going to go up to the neck so it's touching her neck. And then you're going to go about to where her leg joints are. And then you're just going to cut straight across. Okay, a piece like this. Okay, so the first section needs to be about 7 inches. And this is going to be for the main portion of the coat here. Next, we're going to cut out the sleeves. We're going to set this aside. And to do the sleeves, what you're going to do is go from the very top of her arm all the way to the bottom. And then cut that section off. It's about seven and a half inches for this piece. This is the seven inch piece for the main body. Um, I don't want this big seam any part of my jacket, so I'm just going to cut that all. Our doll, I'm going to use this back seam here and I'm just going to put it straight in the back. So I'm just going to lay my doll right on top of that. And then I'm just going to fold this over her and get a kind of an idea of where her armhole is going to need to be. Remember, we, we want this jacket all the way up to her neck um, because this is going to turn into the shoulder there. So I am going to cut my hole about here. It doesn't have to be perfectly round or anything. And there's one sleeve. Put that sleeve on her and figure out where the next needs to go. Just about there. And just a little bit. Got the jacket that wraps around and this line in the back is a little offset, but I'm not picky. We will take care of that in a bit. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hem the bottom here. Just fold it up and sew it across. Nice seam on the bottom. So I'm going to put this back on the doll and just to get an idea of where I need to sew for the shoulder. And what you're going to do is you see that extra fabric that's hanging out over here? 
we're going to pinch it and then we're going to sew a line right here. So we're going to flip this, fold it, fold it like that, at that diagonal line. I'm going to sew all the way to the top. And I flipped it good side to good side. So the side that I'm looking at right now is the inside of the jeans, not the, not the side that you will be seeing her wearing. Flip it right side out and I'll put it on her just to show you guys. This is what we have, what it looks like now. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So, good side to good side. Cut off that excess fabric. We don't really need that inside the coat. We'll make it look bulky. Put our hair back on too. So now what we have is like this. And there's a lot of excess fabric still up in front. Um, so we're just going to kind of cut a little bit of it off. Mm. I just cut let's see, an inch on an inch in the front. And I'm going to actually leave that side just the same. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold over the entire top and sew a seam just like we did at the bottom. And then fold over the side and sew the side. Inside of the jacket right now. And this is the side. At a slight angle, I totally forgot. So this portion up here, this top, we're gonna fold it over and we're gonna stitch it again. So one more fold. That way, when it folds, it has a little divot like that kind of overlap. <laughs> Into it. I'm going to cut right by one of the seams. And I am just going to wrap this around her arm to get the idea of the thickness. And I'm going to overlap it just a bit. And I'm going to mark with my finger the top thickness. And because her arm starts out a little thicker, here and then it becomes a little bit thinner. I am going to kind of shorten it a little bit towards this end. So we've got thicker and then just slightly thinner. And so what you get is this kind of this. Oops, up that. Take her at the top and at the bottom. I can do a quick measurement for you. Uh, the top is six inches and the bottom is four and a half. And I'm just going to cut off the seam here. I'm going to lay that one flush. And 
I'm going to keep this extra fabric scrap because that's what we're going to use to make the pocket. Now I've got two pieces, same size, and we are going to fold over the smaller side and then stitch across both pieces. Okay, so you're going to fold good side to good side and line up the top portion of it and line up the rest of it. Got it all lined up. And now I'm just going to sew it. The extra string. I'm going to take the sleeve. This is the good side. I'm sticking it in a hole. This portion I sew by hand. So I'm like, all right, so I'm going to start sewing on the inside and I'm just going to do an in and out basic sewing stitch. But every five I'm going to actually tie them out just to kind of strengthen it a little bit. Um, you're just going to pull it tight and there is going to be extra fabric left over, but we're just going to bunch that up at the top and it creates kind of like a little ruffle effect. So now I'm at the top, I've got that extra fabric. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten it out the best I can. Now I am going to stitch through it. And back to the beginning again. I'm going to tie a knot. Do like a double knot this time. And I'm going to go around one more time. We're on now. And you can kind of see that little bunching up top that I was talking about. So now we are going to move on to the fur collar. So you're going to take whatever piece of fur you have, um, I'm going to cut off about two inches, a big strip of it. Two inches, so big strip, two inches. Um, what I've got here is 14 inches long. And you could do this with fabric, a different type of fabric, or you could just do it with the jean jacket. Or another piece of the jeans. And what you're going to do is you're going to sew it. So this is the bad side here. And you're going to sew it bad side of the fur to the good side of the jean jacket, good side of the fur to the bad side of the jean jacket. Match the fur up right to the tip of the side of the jacket. Make sure you don't sew the sleeves to this portion. Make sure I didn't miss any spots. I got a nice kind of hard and everything just the furry side. Um, I've got a little bit of extra fabric hanging out over here. And I'm just going to cut that off. See? 
Now onto the pocket. First you have to decide which side is going to have a uh, It's going to go on the front and where the buttons go through. I'm going to do the right side is going to cover the, the buttons are going to be sewed onto this left side here. And then this is going to have the button holes and the buttons coming over. And so I'm going to put the pocket on the right side. I'm going to take that scrap of fabric that we had. I'm going to cut that seam out. I'm going to cut it in half. I don't need all this fabric. You could put another pocket on the other side if you wanted, or do something fun with it. And then I'm going to take this fabric and I'm going to fold over the bottom. Like that. I'm just going to sew it. Fold over the other side. Like that. And we sew it. Now I've got a piece that looks like that. Now I am going to fold over the top. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to sew it. Now I'm going to fold over the side. And I'm going to sew it. And there's a lot of excess fabric on this side, so I'm going to cut that off now. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to cut off the excess fabric from the other ones as well. Alright. And now I'm going to fold the other side. Place it on the coat. Put it right there. And we're going to sew it. We're going to start from go down one side, down that little edge, up, up. We're not going to sew here because that's how you get stuff to go in the pocket. Once you get to the bottom, just turn. I'm trying to stick as close to the original sketches. So I've got my needle and thread, I got two buttons that match, and my doll wearing a coat. I'm going to go about an inch up, and by half an inch in, and sew on the first button.
Turn that one back. Now we're going to line up the bottom of the coat. Figure out where that button is. And just start with a small slit. Vertical here. You don't want your buttonhole too loose. Make sure the button can go through. And then I'm going to take my needle and thread. I'm going to sew around the buttonhole. So the buttonhole doesn't get frayed. So what I'm going to do is just go in the buttonhole and then out this side of the coat and this is just going to help prevent the fabric from breaking see because the color and focus on my wood can is horrible, but right around the edge there. I'm going to do the top button hole. I'm going to do that probably about an inch and a half higher. Um, maybe even two inches higher over right here. Um, Now that both buttons are sewed on, your button holes are made, your jacket is now finished. You could also add fur around the edge of the sleeves and uh, fur around the sleeves. Yeah. Yeah. If you like the video and want to see more like it, uh, like my YouTube video. That's a lot of likes.